Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox. I hope you are having an amazing day. I am in such a good mood today and I'm really, really excited for today's video. It is going to be an Amazon favorites video, just like things that I've been loving, things I've been using in my decor, things that I've been using in my designs, things you might've seen in the background of videos. I have a ton of really great items that kind of stem from home decor, home goods, organization, DIY, craft supplies, just a lot of my current favorite items. And I'm sure you all know how this works. Everything that I feature is going to be linked below and let's just jump right into my favorites. Let's just start off with like a super simple little decor favorite and that is this pillow. Now this pillow first of all is so cute. It is so minimal. You can literally pair this with absolutely any pillow pairing and I feel like this pillow would go and also I love the size of it. Like finding smallish decorative pillows like this I think can kind of be hard. A lot of the times they're more square or like a longer rectangle but I love 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 the shape of this and I think this pillow you guys was like $14 or something like that super affordable I just love it it has a very like woven texture on the front it's like a natural white tone with these little bits of black tasseling in it which kind of create this diamond pattern it's clean it's simple um, and I think everyone needs one of these next item is one of my favorite kind of crafting DIY items that you guys have probably seen me use on my channel before and I've definitely linked it in past videos but I just wanted to share it here because I got a brand new spool of it and I thought perfect time to share it and that is this humongous spool of macrame cord I think this spool is around $15 but you get so much on here and the quality is amazing and the other thing I like about this cord um, because a lot of the times I used to buy my macrame cord from Michaels or Joann's this I don't know if you guys can see this is the one that you get from Michaels or Joann's can you guys kind of tell how this macrame cord here doesn't have any texture to it it's literally just like a woven string whereas this one kind of has like a rope texture to it which I think is a lot prettier I like the way that this one looks a lot more on my projects I actually happen to have this is the four millimeter size which is probably my most used size for macrame but I also have this one here which is quite a bit thicker you can kind of see the size comparison on this roll here uh, this is the thicker one and this is a thinner one and I'll make sure to link both below this is just a scrap that I have of the thicker one I had the whole spool but I used it on that project where I wrapped it around the Ikea little shelf so I really really like the macrame cord from Amazon I'm gonna link those two sizes I'm um, in any additional ones below so you guys can check them out this is a really really cute pack of hooks that I found for the wall and I'm actually kind of working on an entry way project for my friend Hannah and I was like these would be so cute in her apartment so I picked up this pack here and they are teak and iron wall hook I thought they were so chic and very mid-century modern but they can definitely translate into other decor styles as well I just loved them I thought they were very very simple but also very impactful for a wall hook they weren't just basic you know you could hang something here and you can also if you wanted to hang something on the top portion there so they're pretty universal you get a pack of two and I think these are like maybe ten dollars for the set Hello, I'm filming. Perfect for a bathroom too if you wanted to put some towels on there. I think they're just a lot more graphic than your traditional hook. Oh my gosh, I have been waiting to share this with you guys. I bought myself and my roommate a new set of utensils. It's a stainless steel silverware set, but I have to share this with you. This silverware is beautiful. Look at this. So this is gold silverware, and I have always wanted gold silverware. If you guys didn't know, I worked at West Elm for like a year and a half um, when I first started going to school in Los Angeles. It was like my literal job that paid for everything that I did, um, and I worked there so much, but they had gold silverware there. But I swear to you, like one set, like one pack of five pieces, Pieces was like $38. I got an entire set of silverware, which let me show you what it comes with. So it comes with these five different pieces. They are a beautiful light gold color, which I love. They're not very yellow gold. I just absolutely love the color of these. Look how cute this little spoon is. I think it's more for like coffee. Um, and then you have your traditional like spoon and fork and then the knife is so chic. It reminds me so much of a restaurant here in Los Angeles uh, that has very similar uh, silverware to this. And I found this entire set for such an affordable price. You get four of each piece. So I think there's like, how many pieces? 20 pieces in the set. And I think the whole set is around $30. Have already been using it, have already been washing it. Nothing is coming off. Like it is not scrubbing off, which was one of the complaints we actually got at West Elm was that some of the silverware kind of like crusted off so we'd have to do constant refunds on those items some more decor this is a wall decal pretty self-explanatory these are just great to fill up any plain wall they look like this they are cute little gold stars very something that you would find in like urban outfitters or like kind of like a niche home decor site they are such an affordable and easy
easy and removable and renter friendly way to upcycle or redo any wall. I feel like I just used so many terms to describe these, but yeah, you can literally pop these on your wall behind your bed and just create an accent wall without having to like paint the wall or do something that would cause you to like lose your security deposit, whatever that might be. You can literally remove these when you are leaving. Um, I think I'm gonna actually put them on the wall and do like some form of like fun little photo shoot with them uh, and then just put them back on the sheet and use them later if I decide I need to. Okay, something a little bit less exciting, but still might be exciting for some of you guys that love organization, are these little shelf items. Now, what exactly are these? These are traditionally meant to go in your cabinets and they're kind of meant to hold plates on top and more plates underneath. So it's basically just like a double shelf system. You could put these in a cabinet like this, and then you can store stuff underneath, like a lot of skincare under here. And then on top of it, you could store more skincare or whatever you want to use it for. So it's basically maximizing smaller space in your house or your apartment, which is great. So these are great for like under the bathroom sink, under the kitchen sink. If you want to put like your sponges and stuff in like a little pull out drawer here and then all of your cleaning supplies up here. I'm actually going to put these in our little cleaning cabinet by the front door because we have a shelf full of cleaning supplies and it's literally jam packed. And so I'm going to put this on there, put some stuff on top, put some stuff underneath and just maximize that storage space. So these next items are wall art slash hanging slash macrame items. I really like these because I think they add a great kind of handmade element to any room, which I love having a touch of handmade. I don't like everything to be very like store-bought looking. So if you're not wanting to buy your own macrame cord, which I shared you at the beginning, you can buy one of these two tapestries that I want to share with you. So the first one here I thought was cute because I'd never seen anything like it. It's actually a wall pocket macrame tapestry. Like how cool is that? So it's your basic typical macrame um, kind of wall hanging, but it has a pocket here. So if you wanted to, for example, here's a fragrance, you can put stuff in the pocket. So it'd be really cute to have this like by the couch, to hold the remote, to hold like a notebook. The backside looks like that. So if maybe you're even over the pocket one day, flip it over and you have a really cute backside too. And I also grabbed one more for anyone that wanted to add a little pop of color to their space. I want to give it a nice seaming on the bottom so that the tassels kind of lay a little bit nicer. Very earth toned, which is nice. So if anyone's very kind of into that earth urban slash very plant filled room oasis style like this is very great for you I think the backside looks like that it has a copper pipe on top that is used to kind of hold it on the wall and this was a pretty affordable piece as well it's actually by a designer I don't remember the exact name it has some texture up here too this next item is one that I'm really excited about because I have never owned anything from Jonathan Adler but I love and I admire a lot of his interior design pieces that he creates so I got myself my first piece and this is the piece that I ended up picking up this is a little bit more on the expensive side I'm not going to lie to you guys but if you want to invest a little bit in a really cool piece of decor I think this is a great option it has a brass gold eyeball and it's just on a stand so basically it just sits on a shelf like this and it just acts as a nice little piece of decor and I've always had like this weird fascination with like eye decor like I see those eye rattan mirrors on Urban Outfitters or like eye shaped like pillows and stuff and I just like the way that they look for some reason so I picked up this decor to kind of fill my eyeball fetish, if you will. That sounds so weird. All right, I only have a couple more items for you guys. This last one is an organizational item. And now in my last video, I shared a really, really great shoe holder that I still currently have in my closet. It has been a lifesaver, but I wanted something for behind my bathroom door as well to hold even more bits and bobs, items and options. This is kind of the same idea. It's an over the door organizer, but this one has these really great pockets on it. So can you see how this kind of works? There are a total of four different pockets and they have little clear fronts so you can see through if there are smaller items in there this is I think great if you wanted to put it on the back of your door to store like washcloths bath salts bath supplies um different things like that you can also put this in behind your closet door to store like smaller items such as belts or I don't know scarves so I'll link this one below I'll also link the behind the door shoe holder that I have because I have been loving it it is amazing all right I have three more items um I feel like I'm literally going so slow so I'm going to share with you guys these last three really really quick but the first one is kind of a play off of the last Amazon item I shared with you guys and that is a very small hairpin leg. I think this is such a great affordable way to update really any piece of furniture in your home. If you wanted to literally rip the legs off your couch, put these on your couch. If you wanted to rip the legs off of your media console, put these on it. Literally so cute. And the other ones I shared with you were like your traditional very long table legs, you know, but I found this a miniature set and I was like, I have to buy these because I'm 100% going to use them in a future project. But I also wanted to share them with you guys because I didn't know they existed in this small little shape. Or this could also just be like a great little like piece of decor if you wanted to put it on a circle piece of wood and like almost have it as a cake stand. I don't know. I just thought this was very universal 
pretty great. I love the matte black finish on it, kind of very farmhouse feeling, you know? So my roommate and I have been actually looking at three bedroom apartments. We currently live in a two bedroom and we've been looking for probably like four months for three bedroom apartments. And every three bedroom apartment we find, the bathrooms are typically kind of ugly. I'm just not gonna lie, like the tile work's just not cute. Like these are typically older apartments. But I decided that I was going to actually pick up some of this self-adhesive wall stick on tiles this is a subway tile design and you get a pack of 10 sheets in here this stuff you guys can easily transform any space like just look at the back look at those things on the back you can transform your kitchen your bathroom whatever it is that you want to transform you can put these on the wall and it looks like legit subway tile rachel metz actually used it recently and i know that alexandra gator i believe that's how you say her name used it in her kitchen in a pink color and i just love this i actually ordered five packs of this because i was going to redo our entire kitchen kitchen with this but since we're looking for a new space now i think i'm just gonna save it to probably redo the new kitchen slash or the bathrooms so this is a great alternative again if you're in a renter space you don't like your backsplash you don't like your bathroom stick this all over it and you're gonna be good to go nice clean and modern and last but not least this item is a really fun one i just thought it was cute and quirky it is legit a little book holder end so this is what it looks like and basically you put this on your shelf you lean your books against it so they're kind of slanted and it looks as if a man is trying to hold your books back up it holds it and it looks like the man's trying to push it back up like it's falling on him i just love this i thought it was a very quirky and fun little element to add to home decor they had a lot of different shapes and designs to this as well like they had some with people kind of running away from the books so that they were falling you can use this as a little accent on a bookshelf or something but i picked it up again for my friend hannah's entryway makeover I thought this would be cute for that. So you're going to see that in that video. And guys, I feel like I talked so fast per usual. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Everything that I featured is going to be linked in the description box below. So you could take a look at it if you are curious. And I think that I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Do not forget to subscribe. Click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. And then also follow me on Instagram at Lone Fox Home for your behind the scenes look on my DIYs and home decor projects that I'm currently working on. Have an amazing rest of your day. Add these to your cart for later if you want to. Prime them for now if you want to. Share with me what you guys are going to order in the description box below. I would love to know. Or if you have any Amazon finds you've loved recently, share them below as well. I would love to see them. So I'll catch you all in the next one. Have an amazing day. Bye guys.